Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be going through and solving a system of linear equations using the Gauss-Seidel method in Microsoft Excel. If you missed our previous video on the theory behind Gauss-Seidel method, I would recommend you checking out that video first and I will leave a link below in the description for you to do so. As a summary, when using the Gauss-Seidel method, we need a square matrix that is linear and we ideally want our matrix to be diagonally dominant. And this is because our matrix will always converge when it is diagonally dominant. All right, so we are given this matrix here, and let's say that we want to see how many iterations it'll take us to achieve a solution accuracy of 0.005 for all of our independent equations. So where do we begin? Well, although not necessary, it is wise to check if your matrix is diagonally dominant. As I've proven this in a previous video, in which we solve for this problem by hand, Check out that video if you want to see why this matrix is considered diagonally dominant. There will be a link for this in the description below as well. Let's set up this Excel sheet to solve for any system of linear equations that is 5 by 5 or smaller. I will be solving for a 3 by 3 matrix in this example though. You could easily adjust this for larger linear systems of equations by just adding another row and column for every additional independent equation you have. So let's create a column title and a title for all of our X values. By setting up our Excel sheet like this, we will be able to input any matrix coefficients and easily solve our matrix. Now let's go ahead and set up a table with our current values of X in our columns and our number of iterations in our rows. As our matrix of interest here is diagonally dominant, our initial guesses does not matter. And we can therefore just assume a zero matrix. So that means that all of our values of X are initially all assumed zero. Just a note, if your matrix is not diagonally dominant, it does not mean that it will never converge. It just means that your matrix could diverge, which is when your error gets larger and larger after every iteration. And to solve this, we typically just need a better starting guess for our initial X values. However, you could also have a matrix that doesn't have a solution. To solve a system of linear equations using the Gauss-Seidel method, it is necessary for us to convert each independent equation into an equation that solves for one of our unknown x values. Here I have shown what this looks like for all three of our independent equations. When we need to type in these equations, each column here representing one of our equations. We then need to input these equations into Microsoft Excel, and each column here is going to represent one of our equations. Just note that I am adding a dollar sign for the coefficients of our matrix. This is very important as when we iterate our problem later, we always want our cells to refer to these values here. By omitting these dollar signs, Excel will actually take the value below the cell that we actually want. You can see what I mean here. It is taking the value below and not the coefficient that we actually want. Now that we have all of our initial X guesses put into our spreadsheet, let's add in a section for each of the independent equations so that we can check how much error we have at each iteration. This can be done easily by setting all of our equations equal to zero and entering them into our Excel spreadsheet. By doing it in this way, we can essentially see how far off we are from our true answer with our assumed X values. And that is all you need to do. Now we can just extend these columns down and every row generated is a new iteration. All we have to do now is look to see where our error for all three of these independent equations is less than 0.005. As you can see here, at this iteration we arrive at our acceptable amount of error and these are the X values that provide that. As you can see here, iterative numerical methods are best solved through Excel, MATLAB, Python, or really any other coding language. This is because iterative numerical methods are very tedious to perform by hand and very easy to make a mistake with. As mentioned previously, the nice thing about setting our Excel spreadsheets up like this is that we can now just adjust our matrices however we see fit and still be able to solve it using the Gauss-Seidel method. Just be careful of matrices with no solutions, which are singular matrices, and diverging solutions, which, as previously stated, means that we need a better initial guess for our X matrix. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of how we can solve systems of linear equations using the Gauss-Seidel method. 
If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our Patreon page to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.